Now then guys, Matt here from M&J Automotive and we've got another one on the go and 2012 Audi A3 uh, for an island filter service. I'm going to overlay the audio because the um, mic timed out uh, while I was actually filming. So there should have been audio on the video but there isn't. So yeah, we're performing the island filter service on this one. Moving into the vehicle, uh, as you can see we're still power through the clutch replacement. First up, the, as you can see, they all filter down there. Uh, first things first, we'd have to remove that T30 torx screw there to, remove, to be able to get that bracket out of the way to then get to the oil filter housing. Um, the oil filter housing lid is a 32 millimeter uh, hex for so socket size, 32 mil. Uh, so yeah, we're having to strip the vehicles, take this off. Um, I've got a little impact gun, remove the T30, move that out of the way, so then we can then I wanted to do this, I was doing this freehand at the time as well, so it's not ideal. But yeah, move that bracket out of the way, and now you can get straight into the 32mm there to then be able to remove the oil filter lid to swap that, so then the oil drains down into the sump. Um, this isn't the best audio uh, that I would have liked. I would have preferred the actual audio from while I was doing the job, but we've got to do what we've got to do. So yeah. We've now got the uh, tools, 32 mil socket on an extra half inch extension with a, a half inch ratchet. Crack that off, wind out so that um, the seal's out. That way then the oil can uh, drain down from the filter housing into the sump so then <clears throat> when we actually remove the sump plug more uh, the majority of the oil actually drains out of the engine. So the, the engine itself holds 4 litres of 5W30 oil and I will incorporate a picture from Comoil.com, which tell which what all you do is type in the registration number, and uh, it shows up the oil quantity, the coolant quantity, the gearbox oil quantity, all that sort of thing. Um, it's a very useful tool, uh, free of charge. You just go on the website and then type in your reg, and it's there. So yeah, um, I can't actually remember what I was explaining at this point, so we're just gonna have to go with it, watch the uh, video, and see what happens so could see you guys in a minute and it's me again overlaying the audio uh, you're joining me underneath the car um, we have a 19 mil hex bolt for the sump plug which you just a breaker bar knock that off and then wind the sump plug out now to catch the oil We're using a Gros drain pan, um, 10 litre capacity, uh, exceptional for doing the services with it having a capped spout so you can actually pour it into a bottle. There we go, there's the oil. And you can, I'll drop out now so you guys can just watch the rest of the footage um, of the oil draining and then it'll cut in. And I think the audio starts again in the next section. So we'll see you guys soon.
Right folks, so we're at the top of the engine now and we're going to be, once I've got something to stand on, because I'm only sure, we're moving the oil filter. So I've got the new one ready. Okay, yep, just move that on the road. And out. So there we go, there is the oil filter removed. So we'll cut out now, cut back in in a minute when we've got the nice new oil filter ready to go in. Alright, so we're back in now, and as you can see, nice new oil filter. Uh, we're going for a blueprint one on this. Uh, I do quite like my blueprint stuff. Uh, part number ADV. 182110 uh, and the engine holds four litres of 5W30 oil according to Comer Oil so which I'll incorporate I'll crop in a picture of so that you can see the oil quantity from their website uh, it is a very useful tool is their website where if you wanted to and the um, capacities of you can you just simply type in the registration number on their website and then uh, scroll down and then they'll recommend what type of what oil grade quantity for your engine your coolant system whatever you want you need for your coolant system your uh yeah all your system all the systems on the car your coolant system uh, gearbox oil level all that sort of thing so yeah, there's, that's that. Uh, next up, I'll go to the other jug. Fill it to the 4.4 litres pack. So I'm back with 4 litres, 5W30 oil, and now just put that in there, and we'll get on with the engine. And for reference, uh, anyone that's wanting to do this, the Tightening torque figure for the oil filter housing lid is 25 newton meters. So yeah, we'll get this filled up. Uh, I'll cut back, cut out now, and then cut back in in a minute. So I'm back in now, guys. Uh, the oil levels filled, filters in. So now we'll just bob this back to where it goes, like so. That's a machine screw. Back in. That by hand. There we go. And then you just put the engine cover back on, and then that's the oil and filter side done. Uh, well, obviously under tray, but that'll be going on once I finish the uh, flip side of things. Um, but yeah, so that is the end of the uh, oil and filter change on this. Like I say, the service side of things, I'll be doing that off camera and uh, get all that bit done. But yeah, other than that, that's uh, the end of this one, guys. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to uh, drop us a like, hit that subscribe button. If you want any feedback, uh, <clears throat> not feedback, any information uh, on this, any other car, um, feel free to drop a comment uh, to get in touch with us and we'll give you any, any help we possibly can. Uh, 
on anything. So yeah, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.